When you meet Derek Edwards, that big motorized wheelchair may be your first impression, or that he controls it by mouth, or that his arms and legs are so limp and still. But look into his eyes and you see a strong man who is confident of what he can accomplish, not worried about what he can't. Uh, I'm basically paralyzed from the neck down, and um, yeah, my situation is one where most people would consider giving up. And despite that, you know, I've graduated college, you know, graduate school, I'm finishing law school, I will practice law and um, you know, do use this law degree to make a difference. It was nearly 14 years ago when Derek, the defensive back, was wearing Kennedy High School jersey number 45 when he was tackled and his neck broken. And I, I kept trying to get up and I kept trying to get up and I just wasn't able to get up and I remember looking in the sky and saying, you know, please God, let me get up. Derek couldn't get up, but he did get going. Tutors came to his hospital room and he prepared to make big plays in a game with different rules. I was dead in mind, so it's just a different ball game. Derek Edwards. Derek graduated with his high school class and went on to college, starting as an engineering major with assistants doing everything from taking notes to feeding him. He got his own apartment. Nothing like coming home to your own place, a uh, place you can call home and being a man of the house. And Five years ago, he graduated with a degree in accounting at Tulane University. Everyone applauded, and Derek went on to get a master's. Education has always been a focus, and you know, to see my mother raise myself and my two brothers, you know, by herself, and her work ethic and the sacrifices she's made, um, it just carried over. But somewhere along the way, Derek fell in love with the law and decided to become a lawyer, even though it represented one of his biggest academic challenges yet. Well, in law school, there are no quizzes, there are no ex midterms, there's only one final exam at the end, so therefore, if you have a bad day, you have a bad semester. He's inspirational, he's tenacious, um, he's very upbeat, and no matter what, he'll always come in with a smile on his face. I'm interested in corporate law. Now, I would even consider the DA's office because I think it's very noble. I would hate to be his opposing counsel because he's good. He will be very, very good, I'm sure, and he, he will definitely care about his clients. Derek credits much of his success to the inspiration he received from others, including eyewitness news viewers who responded to action reports, even helping Derek get a van. And he keeps his longtime friend and assistant, Dion Bryant, busy as he works to inspire others. Derek is not only in law school, uh, he also has outside activities. He goes to different schools, churches, speaking to kids about the importance of education. And with faith, believing yourself, and working hard, that you can accomplish any goal you want and achieve anything you want in life. Nothing is impossible. If you're impressed so far, hold on to your hat. Derek is just getting started. One day down the line, I definitely am interested in politics. And you know, I just want to give back. I think there's nothing more noble than giving back to the people. I'm Bill Capo, Eyewitness News, Nightwatch. Derek's graduation is this Friday. Congratulations. <clears throat> A tremendous young man. <clears throat> Sheriff Her For the last 14 years since a broken neck during a high school football game left him totally paralyzed. Bill Capo is there for the big moment. It's the most important night of their lives. 211 graduates receiving their law degrees at Loyola University. Years of sweat and strain over. Graduate number 51, Derek Edwards, guided his motorized wheelchair by mouth. It was the only time you couldn't see his big smile of victory. Well, I'm excited. I'm very, very happy. This is, a, this is a great moment. It's a great moment. But even Derek wasn't as excited as his mom, who's been his support since his neck was broken in a 1989 high school football tackle. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. But there's no rest for these graduates. They still have one more test to take, and it's the toughest test of all, the bar exam. There's a bar review course that starts on Monday. So I already have my books already. There was loud applause when Derek received his degree. It's a moment these graduates will treasure forever, receiving a degree that will be proudly displayed in law offices, but only after they clear the next nerve-wracking obstacle, finding a job. Just looking forward to working hard and practicing law and making a difference. Derek have a goal. He's on a mission. I'm Bill Capo, Eyewitness News, Nightwatch.
And Derek plans to take and pass that bar exam in July. Wow, what an inspiration. Undoubtedly, he will pass this he test. He will. <laughs> Still ahead on Nightwatch, it claims to help you live to 100 disease-free. But is this self-proclaimed one? Well, so we'll let you know if any more rain is on the way. Coming up in your... Derek said back he managed to make a huge comeback. When we first introduced you to Derek Edwards 14 years ago, it was under the most dire of circumstances. He has been tested like few others have. And as you'll see, Derek has passed every test so far. On September 9, 1989, I was running down the field on the kickoff coverage. I collided with a football player on the opposing team, St. Augustine, and I injured my spinal cord. I didn't, I didn't realize it was such a catastrophic injury. I remember looking up, and it was a full moon, and I was trying to get up, and I was trying to get up, and I was thinking, you know, oh, God, please let me get up. Please let me get up. Derek stayed down, physically and mentally. At age 17, he had lost the use of his arms and legs. He was angry and depressed. Wheezing? But not for long. I my mother always told me to never give up when I was in the hospital oh, and bet. to just do your best and you know, I'd love you and accept you for whatever, whatever happens. Derek's mother is a school teacher and what happened next was remarkable. He returned home after months of physical therapy with a renewed purpose. I, I still have my mind now. So it's just a different game. That's what I use now. My mind instead of my body. Like most high school kids, it was, you know, football, girls, then academics. <laughs> and now basically it's just academics, academics, academics. Edwards graduated on time from Kennedy and then went on to earn undergraduate and master's degrees in accounting from Tulane University. But Derek can't and hasn't done it alone. Donations help purchase a state-of-the-art wheelchair. And his assistant, Dion Bryant, has been with him every step of the way for 12 years. She, you know, brings me here. She takes notes, goes to all the classes with me. I don't know what I'd do without her. What he's done with her help, culminating with Loyola's baccalaureate mass on Thursday night. Ironically. Under another full moon, not unlike the one a stricken Derek looked up at 14 years ago, not knowing what his future would be. Derek Edwards. On Friday, Derek received his law degree from Loyola, accepting on behalf of his mother and everyone who has helped him get this far. Be able to give her a law degree and the fact that I'm actually the first lawyer in our family, uh, it's going to mean a lot to her. And, myself and my family and um and definitely i want to share this with the uh, citizens of louisiana who supported me from day one with their prayers and even donations so yeah i just look forward to giving back but before he can give back he has to get hired and you can contact the law like law school career center they can get in touch with me and uh hey, i'm available with his master's in accounting and freshly minted law degree, Derek is interested in corporate law or working for a state or district attorney. You know where to find him, and Ken, I would think any employer would be lucky to have him. With that kind of determination, how can he not get a job? An incredible story. Thank you, Rich.